Imagine buying a recent printer and then finding out three days later that a new version is coming out. The buyer's remorse once again. It's the classic tech issue. The best time to buy is always next generation. But in 2025, I think you can finally buy that resin printer without worrying about the next big thing. I actually think now is the perfect time to start your printing journey. Think about it. Resin 3D printing has grown extremely fast in the last few years. And now we've reached what I think is kind of a plateau or maybe even a sweet spot. The print quality you can get today is already so good that future models won't leave you feeling like you are missing out. We are getting close to sub 20 micron pixel size being the standard on printers and that's just insanely good. To see just a small difference in quality, we would need to get down to 10 microns. That would require a massive increase in pixel density, which would lead to much higher cost of printers and higher screen replacement cost. And then for what really? Printing at 20 microns layer height is already a bit overkill for a lot of projects and takes a lot of time compared to the quality you're gaining. A lot of people agree that 30 microns is the sweet spot for most things and even going with 50 microns for a lot of big projects. Now printing at 10 microns, the detail you gain is likely to be overshadowed by the issues you face with blooming of the resin and other weird things. In other words, the big leaps in printing quality are over and you are catching the wave at just the right time if you buy a printer today, you are not missing out. It's not that printers will stop improving altogether. It's just that the kind of wow upgrades we saw in the past, those big jumps in resolution of features, they are now becoming very rare. We saw the tilting bat in 24, which was a massive leap forward. But when is that going to happen again? And the tilting bat, it was actually not a new invention. Prusa had already done it. Instead, what you will see from here on out, I think it's more about fine tuning the features you can already get. We might see even more smart features or even smart features that work. Heated VAT might become a common place in the mid tier printers. The UI might improve, but print quality, it's unlikely to change. By knowing that major changes aren't around the corner, you can get in while the getting is good. Another reason why now is a great time to get started printing is because it has become a lot easier. When I started in 2020, it was rough. A ton of bad advice, misconceptions about how things worked and just a poor beginner experience overall. Today, it's a different story. The resin formulas have improved a lot, meaning that the cheap resins are pretty good and the expensive resins are almost magic in a bottle. The detail has always been great on resin printers, but the toughness and flexibility have come a long way. But it's not just the resin that's getting better. It's also the entire community around printing. There are countless guides, forums, and videos made by people who already faced every sort of challenge you might face and they solve them and you can learn from them. This collective knowledge means that when you run into a problem, you don't have to figure it out yourself. There are some places that still has extremely bad information, but you can avoid those places. There are safe havens now for real good advice. You can even buy a video course for beginners and know everything you need to know from the get-go. Setting up your printer and getting started is much smoother than it was five years ago. I can tell you that. Many of the printers actually work out of the box these days. The best thing, the models you can get and print. Don't get me started on how good the models are. I wish I had unlimited funds and could subscribe to every single creator of models out there. Then I would print 1000 miniatures each and every month. I wouldn't paint any of them and I would make this big spiky throne. The bottom line, you are stepping into a world where helpful resources are everywhere. Better resin makes life easier. You can print amazing models in hours and the entire printing process has gotten extremely easy. It's still a bit messy, but it is easy. Starting your own resin printing journey has never been so smooth, simple and rewarding. But there's 
always a but. If you buy my idea that we are in this printing nirvana, this sweet spot phase of resin printing, does that mean you are in a hurry? Will you miss this sweet spot if you wait too long? Competition among brands, along with years of improving technology, has pushed the prices on printers lower than ever before. As an example, back when the Mars One launched, it cost about $260. It used a non-mono 2K screen with an XY resolution of 50 microns. Because of the non-mono screen, it was slow and the screen broke down so fast. Oh, and the build plate was tiny. Today, you can easily find a printer that offers sub 20 micron pixel size on a mono screen for as little as $160. That's a huge jump in quality and value. If you had the same budget as you did four or five years ago, you could almost get the Mars 5 Ultra with a tilting bat and all of the smart features crept into it. So why won't this trend continue? Well, it might, but it also might not. These printers come from China. If say there was a trade war going on, who would you think was going to pay the cost for that war? Would the brands pay the price? Very unlikely. You will be paying for that. Yes, even you, even you living outside of the US, it's likely going to affect you as well as everybody else. If you wait, you might end up paying more for exactly the same machine you could have bought today at a lower price. I'm not here to fearmonger you. I'm just here to tell you that the prices today are great and they might not continue being. Right now, it's a true buyer's market. The money you spend goes much further than it did just a few years ago. You get more detail, the resin has improved a lot, the community is great, and the models are amazing. So what are you waiting for? If you want to compare printers, I have made a free tool where I track the best price I've seen each printer at for sale. You can filter in that database to make comparison between printers easier. And watch this video about common mistakes you might make when you start your printing journey.